Hey Scorpio, hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of November 2021. And it is general, so it might not resonate for all of you. But of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box. And this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. All right, and for the overall energy, we have third party. All right, so this is a third party situation here and third party does not have to be a romantic partner, okay? It could be just about anything. It could be a person, um, it could be a romantic partner, but it could just be any person or situation, all right? So let's get into this and see what is going on here. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last half of November. And do keep in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have. Ooh, starting off the reading, we have the Ten of Cups crossed by the Seven of Wands. Okay, uh, recent past, the King of Pentacles, near future, the Nine of Cups. In your energy, we have the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the Five of Swords. More about you is the Four of Swords. For them, the King of Cups. And the potential outcome here, we have the World. Okay. So definitely a lot of emotions here between you and another person or a lot of potential to have this Ten of Cups, to have that perfect balance of happiness, love, fulfillment, right? Just everything. Um, it's crossed by the Seven of Wands though. So this is the challenge. Somebody is being a little bit defensive or on guard, kind of guarding their emotions, possibly blocking this, this out a little bit or just not allowing themselves to fully experience this. Um, the recent past, the King of Pentacles, it, it feels like there was some kind of stability here or there either there was commitment or things at some point did feel like they were stable. Um, for you, you definitely hold a lot of love for this person, um, but there's something here that you're healing. There's something here that you're healing in your own self, but in terms of the connection as well, possibly through the connection. We'll see when we clarify. For them, the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. Yeah, so they have a lot of love here as well, right? They're showing up as, because <laughs> I actually feel like this King of Pentacles here is representing um, the other person, but again, roles can be reversed, okay? Regardless of whether you're cross-watching or not. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody who does want that commitment. I just feel like there's some blocking out, all right? Um, there's a lot of emotions here, a lot of emotions. And again, with the, this Five of Swords, though, something is a little bit deceptive. We'll see. I feel like they're trying to... They, they feel like... They feel like by blocking this out, because I do feel like it's mostly them, all right, because they have this Five of Swords. Um, I feel like by blocking this out or being on guard, they, they're they maintaining some kind of a control or they're ma they're feeling like, you know, they're coming out on top. I feel like it's, it's a lot of self-protection here, like wanting to have the upper hand, possibly to avoid getting hurt. However, we do have the Nine of Cups showing up in the near future, so there is some pleasure coming up, some... It's close to that Ten of Cups, right? It's close to that Ten of Cups. It's not exactly the Ten, but it's it's very close to it. And then we have a completion of the cycle here for the potential outcome. So I don't know where the third party is playing a role here, but hopefully we will we will find out. So let's see. Ten of Cups with the Seven of Wands. All right, the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. All right. Yeah, it's like somebody's settling here. 
somebody is ignoring um, this happiness or I feel like one person is trying to um, trying to move things forward in a way where, okay, you know, we need to work together. Like we both need to give to this equally, right? With that three of pentacles. I mean, it's not exactly the six of pentacles, but it's coming in like, okay, teamwork, you know, like we both need to work together. And it's, it just feels like somebody is kind of ignoring that, like not really, not really doing that. It's like giving just a little bit with that page of wands. Um, wanting it to, it, it's almost coming in as this person like, kind of feeling more comfortable that the other person is taking all the initiative. Because that just puts them in an easier position and that way they can still stay a little bit guarded in some way. All right, let's see the Ace of Cups for you. The King of Swords and the Hanging Man. Yeah, I feel like you're, what this is, is that you are pretty, <laughs> you're pretty set in your views as to what this connection is and as to what you feel about this connection and that you believe that it is the Ace of Cups. And you know what? I agree with you. I agree with you because I do see there being love from the other person as well. I mean, starting off the reading, we have the Ten of Cups, right? As the very first card out. So I feel like you're just very firm with that, but you're trying to, um, you're, you're trying to not be too um, active in this. And I feel like that's because, you know, like I said, you feel like you can't always be the one to take initiative. And so with that hanging in, it's, it's also like, you know, you're being a little bit firm with, okay, you know what, I have to take, take a step back. Tower, the Ten of Swords, whoo, and the Five of Wands. All right, okay. Well, I'm glad that these are just clarifiers because all three of these are very intense, um, difficult energies to deal with, but thankfully they are clarifying the Four of Swords, which means that this is what is healing, all right? There may have been a point in the past where, you know, you felt very, very, very pessimistic overall, just in general, not just about the connection, but just overall in general and really feeling like you were going through this tower moment, just feeling like everything was just destroyed and that nothing made sense and there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of conflict and you just didn't know what to do and it just felt very, very frustrating. All right, there was also um, a point in time where you felt like this may have been over. And for some of you, you may be feeling this now, even if you do feel like that love is there, it's like you're set in your belief that this love is there, you know, this was meant to be this 10 of cups, but for some of you, you're also feeling like it's over. That's not going to be for all of you. For some of you, this is a past energy is what I'm getting. And for others of you, it is a current energy. Either way, there's a lot of healing that is happening through you having experienced or experiencing that tower and that ending, the conflict associated with that like being okay with things being not being exactly what you would hope them to be it's like that acceptance so let's see what's going on with this other person let's see the five of swords Wow, okay. See, I'm telling you, this, I mean, we just got the King of Cups again. So, I mean, I can't even make this up. <laughs> There's a lot of love from this person because we also have the lovers as well as the Fool. All right, so definitely Gemini showing up here. Definitely um, water signs as well, all right, because they're getting the King of Cups twice. All right, but of course it could be any sign. So this person is definitely feeling that love, 
um, the emotions for you, definitely seeing you as, you know, the person that that would make them happy, the person that they really could have that Ten of Cups with. But I feel like what the, the deception here is really about taking initiative. That's what I feel has been like the main theme here. Taking initiative, taking the leap of faith, you know, just trusting, just trusting in this and not, not needing to feel like they are, you know, having to have that upper hand control over themselves. That's, that's deceptive to their own self for this connection. Now, I also do get that if there is a third party, which there obviously is, because that is our very first card, um, I'm seeing it here for, for this person. All right, especially with the lovers, which could be, um, it's oftentimes having to make a choice, right, between two different situations or two different partners. But again, it doesn't have to be another person. I just feel like, you know, yeah, this is a part of what is going on here. It could be that this other situation, whatever that third party is, is influencing this person to keep them from, from taking initiative. But it's not coming out that strongly in the, in the specifics here. It's like Spirit wanted to focus more on everything else that I've mentioned. But we'll see. Let's see the King of Cups. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of, this person is, is a little bit um, inconsistent. The emotions are there, but there's a lot of um, inconsistent energy here. And I do feel like, again, there's this third party that is showing up here. And, you know, if it's a, if it's a partner, well, then, yeah, that's why they wouldn't take initiative. But then in that particular case, the initiative is actually about them also, um, doing something about that, right? Following love rather than um, staying where it is comfortable. So that whole settling in comfort energy that I was describing in the beginning could definitely be settling um, in a connection that is not fulfilling. For others of them, if this is not a partner, it's, it's someone or something, I'm seeing it more as a someone I don't know what relationship they could they could have. It could be anything, right? It could be a family member. It could be just about anything, a friend even. Um, that is somehow influencing them to be to be inconsistent. But of course, you know that would be their own lesson to you know not allow any third energy to to affect them. Let me get one more here. Temperance. All right, so Sagittarius showing up. Yeah. Having to learn how to moderate, you know, themselves when it comes to how much do I allow other people to affect me? I mean, we're always going to be affected by other situations, but when it comes down to what we want and what we feel in our hearts, it's all about finding that balance within ourselves and not allowing others to take advantage of of us, right? Which could also be this Five of Swords, somebody else um, being manipulative or taking advantage of them. And again, with temperance, I mean, oftentimes that can be, that can be a little bit of a sign of, of settling. Staying somewhere that's, you know, just moderate. It's not, it's not exactly where you, you would want to be. I know it's, it's, Temperance is oftentimes, um, it's a very, very positive card. And I do see that there is healing here, okay? There is some kind of balance that this person is, is coming into, all right? But th I feel like they're still a little bit shaky right now. All right, but in the near future, we have the Nine of Cups, so let's see. Ooh, and we got more cards than usual here. All right, so for the Nine of Cups, we have the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. 
somebody's taking charge here and going after what it is that they want because I do feel like they're seeing you, they're perceiving you as this queen of wands here. Um, there is a lot of desire here. There's a lot of desire. Somebody is going after that and I feel like they're doing it in a very, like, like in a very stubborn way. It's almost coming in with the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles, almost like possessive, like, no, you, like, and, and then the Queen of Wands, like, right in the middle. It's like saying, you are mine. Like, this is what I want. This is what belongs to me. And the Page of Cups, obviously, you know, um, it's a small offer. It's a small expression of emotions. But I feel like, yeah, that, that is coming up here. So this person is moving more towards that, um, towards their wish fulfillment. All right, so let's see the world for the potential outcome. The Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so somebody is really trying to make a change here to the point where, yeah, yeah, you know, there's a completion of a cycle, which is not easy, whatever that is, all right? There's a lot of energy being put into this. It's almost like having to put up a fight. But that is ultimately going to turn things in a very new direction here. I also see the Wheel of Fortune as, especially together with the World card, as closing out karma. So definitely some karmic cycle is ending here, it, or it's like nearly, it's like almost there, all right, with that nine of wands. So yeah, Scorpio, that is what I have here. So if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message, and please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have the full moon surrender to the divine and i feel like yeah you know that's all that you can do i feel like this is definitely um guidance for you to surrender to the divine you know whatever it is it is you know this person has to go through the lessons that they are going through but that wheel is turning all right and i do see them also surrendering to the divine and moving more towards where their soul wants them to go so yeah, that is it, Scorpio. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.